going to be looking at how ions form. And I guess, more importantly, let's start with what is an ion? So an ion is a particle that has a positive or negative charge. Now, we know at this point that atoms are neutral because they have equal numbers of protons and electrons. So my proton is my positive and my electron is my negative. So if an element loses an electron, so we're looking at losing a negative particle, the charge on that ion is now going to be positive. And we call positive ions cat ions. Now, a few ways to remember this. One, this T makes a nice little plus sign, so you know that cations are positive. Or, the way my chemistry teacher taught us and my Gen Chem 1 professor, both of them said because cations are positive. Yep, I know. It's okay. You think I'm funny. I get it. So, now we're going to look at if an element were to gain an electron. So if we are gaining a negative particle, my charge of my overall ion is going to be negative. And we call this ion an anion. Now the way I like to remember this is anions are a negative ion. So why do we form ions? How, why do we just lose and gain electrons? Well, really what they want to do is they want to gain or lose electrons to become like the noble gases. They want to complete what we call an octet. So an octet essentially is a set of eight valence electrons or a full valence shell. Now, let's do it out for a few different examples. Now, let's look at magnesium, okay? So magnesium all over here. If I wanted to write the noble gas configuration for a magnesium, remember, we're gonna go up a row and all the way over. So I'm at neon is the noble gas, and I'm gonna write in brackets. And then I go down to my third row of my S block, and I count over one, two. So the noble gas configuration for neon, I mean, for, um, excuse me, for magnesium is neon 3S2. And what this tells me is outside of neon, I have two electrons in my third energy level. So I have a noble gas core and then two additional electrons. That means I have two valence electrons. Now, Lewis dot diagrams for single elements is super, super easy. All we're gonna do is draw the element with two dots. Now, I don't care if you put it on the top and the bottom, the top and the side, the side and the side, whatever works for you. Just don't put them next to each other, and I'll explain why when we get to fluorine. So, my next thing is, do I, how do I get to be a noble gas? What is going to be easier? Would it be easier for magnesium to lose two electrons to become like neon? or gain six electrons to get to the eight and become like argon. So we're always gonna do whatever the smaller number is. So for magnesium, we're gonna lose two. Just a note, people do this all the time. Lose has one O. We don't lose two electrons, we lose two electrons. 
Now, if I'm going to lose two electrons, I'm losing two negative particles. That means my charge in the magnesium ion is going to be Mg plus 2. All right, let's do another example. So fluorine. So fluorine's noble gas configuration is going to be helium 2s2 2p5. So outside of helium, I have seven valence electrons. Now, when I go to draw my Lewis dot diagram for fluorine, it's going to be my F in the center. And then I need seven valence electrons. So we almost have an imaginary square around fluorine. And what we're going to do is we go one, two, three, four, nice and spaced out, five, six, seven. So when we do that, we want to show that we have a pair, a pair, a pair, and then one lonely electron. Okay. So now when I'm looking at this diagram, would I want to gain one to fill my octet or would I want to lose all seven? Well, gaining one is going to take less energy than losing seven. And we already know that fluorine has the highest electronegativity. It really, really, really wants electrons. So fluorine is going to gain one electron. So when it does, my charge becomes negative one. Now, you don't have to put a one. You can if you want to, but that minus sign just tells me the charge on that ion is negative one. Now I'm going to write out the noble gas configurations for sulfur and potassium. And then I want you to finish this table on your own. So sulfur is neon. Three S two, three P four. And potassium is going to be argon, 4s1. So fill in your valence electrons, fill in your Lewis dot diagram, the number of electrons lost or gained, and your ion formed.